Well, of course. Soon we won't have any tea to drink if this uncivilized colonist has their way. What do you mean? Haven't you heard? And a few days ago in your town, a mob of colonists threw chests of tea from an English ship into the river. But why did they do that? Because they're hotheads. Simply a wild snobs. <clears throat> anybody? Quiet, Betsy. The colonists destroyed the tea because they didn't want to pay the king's tax on it. You colonists are so uncivilized. You are ungrateful for all the king has done for you. Felicity, would you care for a biscuit? Yes, thank you, ma'am. Ladies, calm yourselves. Now, Miss Merriman, please tell us what has happened. I, well, it's my tooth, my loose tooth. It fell out when I bit in the, into the biscuit. And it, it fell into my tea. I'm so sorry. I. Oh, how uncivilized. <coughs> how rude. Don't fret, my dear. There was no harm done. I suppose a gentleman is. I suppose a gentlewoman should always know what to say. But I admit, I don't know what to say when a tooth falls into tea. I guess this is a scene change, huh? Yeah, I, I think we're supposed to clap. Oh. Yay! Hey. very much, but I do love lessons at Miss Manderley's. Mostly I love them because of you. I'm glad you're my friend, Elizabeth. I'm glad too. Shall I tell you a secret? Annabelle's sweet on Ben. She thinks he's handsome. Ben? My father's apprentice? Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, here are the two merriest girls in Virginia. What are you laughing about today? Oh, we're just sharing a secret, Father. Is our way of showing the king we disagree with, the ta with his tax on tea. That is disloyal. It is wrong for colonists to go against the king. You know it is wrong, Marion. Sir, I have to do what I think is right. And what of those hotheads in your town? Do you think they were right when they tossed good tea into the river? They threw that tea away to send a message to the king. They, they did what they thought was right. They were wrong to toss that tea, and you are wrong to stop selling tea. You, you are making a grave mistake. No loyalist will ever shop in your store again. We won't give our business to a Mujin who isn't loyal to the king. Sir, you are my neighbor and my friend. Can't we disagree politely without fighting? Fighting does no good. <laughs> good day to you, sir. She ran away. Who was he? He is a loyalist. He is angry because I've stopped. I've decided to stop selling tea, tea in my store to show that the king, the colonists, will not pay his tax. If no one pays the tax, it will make the king angry. Won't that start a fight? Aye, it could. Do you think there will be a war? I hope not. 
Father, will we drink tea at home? No. There will be no tea in our house. But what should I do at lessons? We drink tea there. And tea time is so very important. What will Miss Mandalay think if I refuse tea? <laughs>
take any of as much as yours. So many pictures on my phone. Oh, I recently took them off. Pictures on there. Felicity, what is it, child? What is the matter? Oh, it's like with an Annabelle thinking we're a traitor. I don't want to speak to them ever again. Ah, it's because of the argument about not selling tea in the store, isn't it? Hi. My poor child. I fear there is more of this trouble coming. This talk against the king will cause much sorrow before it is over. I'll divide, it will divide families and destroy friendships if they let it. Throw that sampler away. I hate it. It's full of mistakes. There is a great deal that's good in this sampler. It would be a terrible waste to throw it away just because of a mistake or two. And I think it would be a terrible waste to throw away your friendship with Elizabeth just because of one misunderstanding. She's not my friend. If she were my friend, she wouldn't have let Annabelle say such awful things. I see. You are afraid Elizabeth does not like you anymore. Is that it? I. I think you are wrong about that. But you will have to go back to your lessons to find out. I don't want to go to lessons anymore. I want you to forget everything I learned. Bye. It is easiest to throw everything away. It is harder to untangle knots and try again. That takes courage. What if I do go back? What shall I do when they serve tea? I want to be loyal to you. I don't want to drink tea anymore. But if I am rude, Miss Manderley won't want me to come back ever again. And Elizabeth won't want to be my friend, and Annabelle will think she is right that all colonists are uncivilized. What shall I do? Now that it is a difficult knot to untangle. You must be polite, but do what you think is right. I trust you'll find a way. You have become quite a gracious young lady but these past few weeks.
Okay, I'll hold in. I'll hold in. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>